You know, the Elon Musk said something about one time about escape velocity in his business, you know, his different businesses. Uh, Twitter. Tesla and all that stuff. He said he almost went bankrupt. You know, they're talking about how Twitter almost went bankrupt and stuff. And I'm glad that I heard that. I'm glad that I heard that because this year has been the hardest year I've ever faced when it comes to just stuff happening, random stuff happening. from roof leaks to and see this is the year during inflation why didn't it happen last year you know this is the year of inflation so everything's double and triple in price a hot water heater that I could have bought for two hundred dollars two years ago now it's four hundred dollars hot water heater transmissions uh, tires brakes uh, I don't even know if I said roof roof leaks roof a whole roof putting a roof on the house actually where I'm going now is get some roofing material I'm going to get some roofing supplies some shingles as we speak new car ridiculous so the escape velocity is you got to out outwork outperform stuff that's breaking down When the universe is hitting you, you gotta outperform, you know. And I even did some serious fasting this year. So last year, October, I, I hit a milestone and got a, got ahead of the game. And then something happened the end of October, which set it on a set everything on a a downward downward spiral. And so now I'm in. Uh, escape velocity mode where I'm out trying to outpace the decay the second law of thermodynamics I'm trying to outpace the decay and I was like a daisical about it now I'm not so in January and February I was slack I was being a slacker and I just I just can't have that I just I don't see it happening for the next year there's no way to be a slacker for the next year. It's just not. And when I say slacker, I mean, I, I'm not. I haven't really slacked off, but compared to what I'm doing now, I was a slacker. 14-hour days right now. If, if 14-hour days for the next three months does not give me escape velocity, then I don't know what else to do. That's the only thing I know to do. 14 hour days for the next three months, three to six months. If that doesn't give me escape velocity, then I don't know what will. I don't know what will. There's only so much one human can do, you know. I was working on something big, and as soon as as soon as I started working on something big, a hot water heater started leaking. Just out of the blue. That was last weekend. I, it was like a, I got up at 6 o'clock to get ready to do something. Walk back there and the hot water heater was leaking. I thought, man, before I even start, i gotta give, I got to fix this hot water heater before I start on my big project. That was crazy. That was insane. So per, between 7 and 12... I was working on the hot water heater, re replumbing it, re rewire everything, and then I had to go start on the other stuff at, 
that after I finished that from 12 to about 8 which I would have already been done I'd have been done at 4 if it wasn't been for that hot water the good thing about it the good thing about it is it's pushing me to a level I've never been before I've been at this level before, but it's only been for about a week at a time. But this time, it's going to be three months to six months. This is a level that I've never been before. And if I can maintain it, work, food, sleep, if I can maintain this and still keep my health and keep my sanity, like today, I started a I started at five. I got up at five. It's six o'clock now. And then I worked till about I got up at five, worked till about seven fifteen, went to the house, <clears throat> got something to eat, then I went to work eight fifteen till about three about three and then I went home went to sleep for three thirty four thirty five thirty six two and a half hours got some good sleep for two and a half hours now I'm gonna go up here and pick up pick up some uh, shingle stuff get it all set up for tomorrow get it rolled out and cut for tomorrow And you know how it is, you run into problems. So I'm gonna start out. So when I get this all rolled out and cut and everything like I want it, which will probably be done by about 8.30 maybe, then I'm gonna go home and go to sleep. And then I'm gonna get up again at six. So if I go home and go to sleep at nine or 10, and then I'll do, a, do another, 14 hour day tomorrow that might put, that might put me where I need to be for next week I might could take I might could take well I won't be able to take Sunday off I gotta take I gotta work I gotta do some stuff on Sunday just to get get something else done that's totally unrelated and it's just crazy it's just never ending I, it blows my mind then I gotta next week gotta take care of some DMV insanity it just never ends it, it's just almost hard to believe it's hard to believe I don't know how I'm only I'm, I'm only doing one remodel I don't know how these project managers could be doing two or three of these at one time without going bonkers you know and people who have like four or five kids and all that stuff going on I mean it's like what are y'all superhuman are you guys superhuman or what makes you wonder is Elon Musk superhuman Something. He must be. He must have a Freemason network. Something like that. I got you.